Hello, it's the banana, and today I'm going to be doing another episode of This first thing I got was kind of kind of stupid, but it's um Xbox game. It's a uh, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2003. So see, no manual, which uh, um. I picked it up for uh, two dollars. So um, yeah, two dollar games. Yeah. All right. So the first um. All right. So there was actually they were having a retro gaming sale at uh, just a local thrift store. You can probably kind of see the controller right here. But um, yeah, it was kind of too good to be true. I went there. It opened at nine thirty. I got there at nine crowded it was kind of crazy so much retro gaming stuff um all these people were lined up didn't really get anything anything really that great the best thing i got there was um this nintendo 64 um with actually might i add the expansion expansion pack later and uh controller and the wires are hooked in my tv right now um, I paid twenty dollars for that, so not a bad, not a bad buy. Um, so I got picked up two other games. One is for the GameCube. It's called Shadow's Deep Sea Adventure. And uh, two dollars for this. Great condition, complete in box. So always nice. And then another game I picked up there. For the original Xbox, Tetris Worlds. Um, sorry, the disc is out. Complete in box. This next this thing I picked up at a local flea market. Um, not local, well, pretty far away. They didn't have that much video game stuff. They had some sports Sega Genesis games and uh, Miss Pac-Man for the twenty six hundred. Um, but I did manage to pick up this, which was. This it's a really cool Nintendo Power Super Mario Bros. 2, Zelda 2, Adventure of Link, uh, Lunchbox. And it's pretty, pretty darn awesome, because look. So, first of all, Mario and Luigi are watching Link on a television battling this. And look, look at the remote. That's an NES controller. Right there. Um it was pretty dirty. I had to clean it up a bit. Uh, see, the inside, I kind of wiped out and stuff. But this might be worth something. I checked on eBay. It's worth like 20 bucks. But, um, okay, so the guy was asking $20 for this originally. And I was like, could you do 10 And he was like, yeah, I'll take that. So, got this for $10. This next thing I got at a Value Village for $6. You know, they have pretty bad prices, but... This thing wasn't a bad price at all for six dollars. See, the person paid thirty-five dollars on the back. I'm not gonna see what it is. You probably saw what it is though. It's actually actually DSI boxed. I might keep a box. I don't know. The game looks like it's in. Yeah, it's in there. There's something rattling around though. I don't know what that is. Maybe I should open it. Should I open it? Tell me in the comments. Blue. It, it's a pretty rare game too. Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess for the GameCube. Oh yeah. Complete inbox, absolutely just mint. It's got a manual, it's got a mint disc. Yeah, such a mint disc. I was really happy when I saw this. It was like buried. It was right under a D. Anyway, I got this um on my birthday. It was, it was my birthday on Sunday yesterday. Um, and I got this for two dollars, whatever. It's a pretty cool controller, I guess. It's uh, so I asked. You probably saw that. Um, so I asked if they did in video games like old Nintendo, Game Boys, uh, PlayStation. And when I said PlayStation, like, oh yeah, we have a couple PlayStation controllers. Then they brought up like this in their trailer. I don't know they were moving or something. In their in their moving trailer, they had like this um, um, this PS2 controller in there. There's also a wireless one, but it didn't have anything to hook into the console. I don't know. I should. I might. Maybe I should have got that one. But uh, 
For two bucks, you can't really beat that. The joysticks are nice. It looks like it's never been used, actually. Like, the buttons are perfect. Um, so, for two dollars, you know, not bad. Not bad at price at all. So, that concludes this episode of... Crusher Kingdom!